Tomorrow we're live. Holy shit, live gaming. What's up, everybody? How are we all doing? How are the levels? Um, I have music playing in the background for reference. Is like, my voice okay? Is music too loud? Whatever. What background music is that? It is the KOF 15 soundtrack. Um, the two songs I played specifically are called Ride the Big Wave, which is uh, the theme song for Team Fatal Fury, and then How About a Trip to Pow Pow Cafe by First Team Art of Fighting. Uh, it's on Spotify. That's just where I'm playing it from. I'm sure you can find it on like, YouTube or Tidal or whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just gotta make sure my levels are okay, and I apologize for clearing my, my throat directly into the microphone. Uh, hopefully the levels are good, and we'll see if they are. I have not had water <laughs> for since, uh, you know, super early this morning. So, if I sound a little scratchy, if I sound a little ill, it's not that, I'm just very thirsty. But, you know, I'll have water eventually. We'll get there. Hello, Ray Wilds 6 What's up, dude? You're very welcome, Stale Cheeto. I'm enlightening you. Okay, apparently I'm dropping frames. I'm being told that by Streamlabs that I'm dropping frames. So if you guys notice any weird lagging or whatever, I'm going to stop streaming the music from Spotify. Maybe it'll help it stop dropping frames. My internet's kind of not great. My internet's been really bad today and over the last little bit. I don't know why. Um, like, I'm wired in and everything. I just... It's weird. Anyway, uh, Fatal Fury 1 time. So Fatal Fury 1, you know, there's a couple of um, SNK games that I feel like don't get talked about ever. You know, part of that is just SNK isn't as popular as, like, Capcom. But, you know, people talk about, like, Real Bout. People talk about, you know, Chaos 98, whatever. Garo. But, like, I've never heard anybody talk about Fatal Fury 1. I've heard people talk about Street Fighter 1, you know, because everybody always goes, oh, Street Fighter 1 sucks. I've never heard anybody talk about Fatal Fury 1, like, ever. Um, so we're going to play it today. Uh, one of the most interesting things, I think at least, is that like it's technically a fighting game, but uh, I'm gonna turn the audio on actually now. I don't think of it. It's technically a fighting game, but there are only three playable characters. You can only be Andy, Joe, or Terry, and all of the uh, like the the enemies are non-playable characters. It's like Street. Oh, excuse me. It's like Street Fighter One. So, <laughs> you know, we, I remember how much I love Street Fighter One. Before we get started, I'm just gonna continue from the volume. All right, hopefully this is a good level. If it's too loud, it's too loud. It's whatever. We'll figure it. We'll play it by ear. It feels really quiet to me. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like crazy quiet. So I'm gonna turn it all the way up. And if it's too loud, it's too loud. All right, we're gonna start with Terry. That's my guy. That's my buddy. I have the Terry hat. I'm not wearing it, but it's uh, it's sitting on my desk next to me. It's like on my mic stand. Okay, here we go. First guy, Richard Meyer. You guys remember iconic uh, SMK character Richard Meyer? Okay, so I actually don't know which moves Terry has, because Terry has a lot of moves. Oh yeah, and this is also a, a two-button fighter. Have, or three-button, I suppose. You have punch, kick, and special, which I think is... Uh, so Terry has a lot of special moves in, in later SMK games. I don't, I can't imagine I have most of them. Like, I, I just did Power Wave, so I know I have Power Wave. Um, what else would I have? Do I have Burn Knuckle? I have Burn Knuckle. Uh, do I have Rising Tackle? Okay, I do have Rising Tackle. And what else do I have? Power Dunk? No Power Dunk. Oh, whoa, how am I, like, leaping through the thing like that? That's crazy. I do not have Power Dunk. Oh my god, the fireball is so hard. I'm not sure you guys can tell, but the fireball is kind of cool to get. So what have I tried? I don't have power dunk. I have power power wave. I have rising tackle. And I have burn knuckle. Um, I don't have power dunk. Burn knuckle! Wow, this audio is like garbage. It sounds like they recorded Terry in like a, uh, like a oh, school gen Not a gen for you. What do you call it? Gymnasium. I have no idea what's going on. Like I will just randomly switch like planes every day. So it's kind of it's kind of a good time. Uh, what other moves does Terry have? Power charge? Do I have power charge? I do not have power charge. Do I have crack shoot? This music sure is something. Yeah, it's this is giving me like Street Fighter One vibes. It's just really weird. Uh, how are the levels, by the way? Is, uh, is it I'm like, I okay? Is the game okay? You know, whatever. Yeah, that was weird. Alright, so what have, I, what have I tried? I've tried... What moves does Terry even have? Crack Shoot. I haven't tried Crack Shoot. 
I do not have crack shoot. So it looks like it's just burn knuckle. Oh my god, I can't get burn knuckle to turn it on. So it looks like it's just burn knuckle, rising tackle, and power wave. Okay, that feel, that makes sense, I guess. Because it's it's coming, because you know, this is not like a ripoff of Street Fighter 2, but it's clearly inspired by Street Fighter 2. So giving Terry like the standard show to move set of, you know, fireball uppercut, advancing move is pretty good. I cannot get power charge to come Okay, it's just really tough. Or not power charge, rising tackle. One of the changes I think KOF 15 made that I liked was was power charge becoming a, a, a DP. Um, I wasn't a huge fan. Or not power charge. Oh my god, I keep calling rising tackle power charge. Um, rising tackle becoming a DP. I it always felt kind of weird having Terry's like reversal hand hair and a flash kick when like everything else was a motion. And on one hand, you know, it added character or whatever. Like I love KOF 13. But uh, I think the DP motion is like, I prefer. I am definitely partial to Rising Tack on a DP. Look at little Terry. Look at that little Terry walking around. It's like a little Fall Guys Terry. Huge fan of Fall Guys Terry. For those of you who haven't seen Fall Guys Terry, please go and Google Fall Guys Terry right now. It's an official product. Wow, Power Wave sucks. Um, so Fall Guys Terry, it's an official. Oh, oh the hat physics. I didn't even notice that. That's tight as fuck. Uh, so Fall Guys Terry is exactly what it sounds like. So Fall Guys, you know that game that people played for a week and then like Among Us came out? Or I guess got big. Power Wave! I love the, the voice acting. Rising Tackle. Oh, where's my Burn Knuckle? Is Burn Knuckle? And Burn Knuckle feels like it might be half circle back and not quarter circle. Is it always half circle back? I don't know. I kind of play on muscle memory. Is it always half circle back? I don't think so. I think it's quarter circle. Weird. I was saying something. Whatever. It's skating. <laughs> if it's important, it'll come back. So it's so weird seeing all these characters. Uh, like, like the, you know, all these. I say a handful. But um, like who? Like nobody knows about. Whoa! That did so much damage. Why does this boxer have hurricane upper? That's crazy. Oh god. Why is my button no longer working? My corn button! Okay, there we go. It's dual rog. Yeah, it feels like like it's it's, you know. Boxer named Mike in a fighting game. You know, like <laughs> uh, if they didn't take I guess I guess Mike Tyson was a big deal at the time, so it makes sense to have a uh, you know a boxer named Mike in the game, but it's kinda interesting that both Capcom and SNK either had the same idea or like acted on it. Okay, there's my throw. There it is, there's Buster throw. Where's my fireball? Power wave! Power wave feels really shitty in this game. Hoping Fatal Fury gets a Fortnite, that would be sick. Oh, that's what I, I... I was down backing, I think. I was down backing. I may have just been down, but... That's crazy. That that either chipped me or hit me. Fatal Fury and Fortnite would be sick. Um, I'm actually being able to do like a Monster Wolf or some shit. In Fortnite. So I don't think D does anything. I'm pressing D. I'm pressing the button I have mapped with D, you know. Heavy kick in later games. And it's just doing nothing. So I think my buttons are literally just punch, kick, throw. Which is interesting. Uh, but I remember what I was saying earlier. How's my tornado uppercut? Okay, it's, it's it's not hurricane upper. It's tornado upper. Legally distinct from, from Joe Higashi. But, uh, like, Fall Guys, Fall Guys Terry is, like, real. <laughs> it was, I think it was what I was saying earlier. I'm not sure if I finished that thought. Is the fact that you can go on Fall Guys. Maybe not anymore, but there was a point where you could go and buy, um... A Terry costume for Fall Guys, which is actually really funny. And now Ryu is in Fall Guys, I think. Ryu and maybe other characters, but I know Ryu is, which is very. I think it might be. Is it Cammy <laughs> who's also in Fall Guys? I don't remember. But it's always really funny seeing all these um, like fighting games. Fighting games aren't like super niche. Like Street Fighter is pretty mainstream. Like you know, people know who Terry is. Um, but it's always funny seeing like these weird collabs. Like even like Fortnite and Fall Guys makes sense. But have you guys seen the, the the KOF cologne? Where it's it's like a cologne, and I think it's exclusive to Japan. But uh, it has like Terry and Mai on the thing. Yeah, I think it's Terry and Mai. It might be somebody else, but it's like an SNK cologne. 
That's pretty funny. You know, if you ever want to smell like Terry. This game kind of has Street Fighter 1 syndrome going on, where I feel like... I feel like the hitboxes are like kind of not great. Like, obviously there's going to be some abstraction between... Okay, this half circle back. There's always going to be some kind of abstraction between... Oh, I got stunned. Shit, I didn't even know it was in this game. Holy shit, Hurricane Upper does so much damage. Um, I did not need to get hit by that. Wow, I'm stuck on the second guy. At least in, like, Street Fighter 1, I got through, like, you know, a couple of guys. Fall Guys Gill. Fall Guys Gill would be epic. I think they should put all the Street Fighter characters in Fall Guys. All, like, you know, a hundred of them or however many there are. Okay, I'm just gonna mash for a knuckle. Watch this. This is what Terry players do online in KOF 15. Is they just do like full screen burn knuckle. Because they're just like, I have not pressed a button in in like two seconds. Am I gonna use my fireball? No, am I gonna like jockey for position? No, I will full screen heavy burn knuckle. And it never fails. That move is not unsafe at all. This point screen feels like it takes some time. I digress. Okay. I kind of wish I had Power Dunk. Power Dunk or Crack Shoot. Because these fireballs are giving me a lot of trouble, and having a, like, a, a vertical move that can go over fireballs would be nice. But alas. Also, I think I'm the only person in this game's fight cave lobby. When I, when I was setting this stream up, I was the only person in the fight cave lobby. Like, they're not the only person online. The only person in the fight cave lobby, like, full stop. Where's my bird knuckle? Dude, that's just whiff entirely. Are you gaming? <laughs> uh, yeah, they have the only person who can play Cade Lobby, and I can't, I can't, or I can, rather, understand why. This game doesn't feel great. Especially when you compare it to later, later, later Fatal Fury games. Not great. Oh, there you go. <sighs> Not every first game's a winner. I'll beat Geese easily with my skill and technique. Can we address how fucked up Terry's portrait is? Like, Geese looks like Geese. I'm like, yeah, that's Geese Howard, okay. But, uh, Terry's little portrait. Look at the little funny Terry. What is this? What do I do? Oh, okay. This is my least favorite type of minigame. You can, like, you can tell they're just trying to patch you out your quarters or whatever. Um, at least in, like, Mortal Kombat and stuff, like, Test Your Might was, like, there was a level of skill to it, which was time your attack, but just mashing buttons never feels good. Music and everything. Yeah, you get fucked, fucking Neo Geo arcade guy. Music and everything, indeed. Yeah, Rising Tackle. The next fatal blow. I guess one thing this game does that is cool is that it, like... And I just observed this. This game teaches really good FG fundamentals, does it? Like, genuinely, or are you mean it? Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> All this like hopping and stuff, it feels really weird. Oh, f what the fuck? Oh wait, no, this guy, this guy's in later games. This guy's in like 14 or something. I know this guy. Whoa, what is that? That either did a <laughs> absolute metric fuck ton of chip, or I just... It's unblockable. Whoa, okay, this is kind of cool. Now each opponent has a weakness tied to a good universal. Okay, that's cool. I don't know what this guy's weakness is. Oh, no rising tackle. Okay, I gotta be really precise with my woods. The boxer UV is weak to junkins. I noticed that. Oh god, stop. Damn, bro, this guy's a menace. Kung Fu's the first acknowledgement of- Oh, okay, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Terry, Terry Gaming. Terry from Smash Bros. I remember I had Terry as my profile picture on Discord for a while. I remember talking to a guy, and he was like, oh, like, like in, like, a non-fighting game running server, just, like, in a server with, like, friends and shit. And he, um, he was like, oh, is that your, is your profile picture? Yeah, I got fucked. 
Uh, is your profile picture tear? Oh my god. Does that cross up? I can't figure out how to deal with that. Oh, and there's a fucking meaty fireball at the top of my head. Damn, bro, I'm gaming. Um, he was like, oh, Terry's your... Um, like, your profile picture. That's awesome. I love Terry. I'm a Terry main. And I was like, oh, cool. No way. Me too. I also main Terry in the King of Fighters series. And he was like, um... And he said, oh, King of Fighters. I play Smash. And then I was like, oh, cool. Terry is in Smash. And, uh... And then he like kept trying to talk to me about like, Smash Carry. And there's this is not to be confused, I had a different conversation with a completely different guy um, who's also like a buddy of mine. And he um and he was like, oh, is it Terry your profile picture? And he was like, yeah, and he's like, oh I play Terry in Smash. And I was like, oh boy, another conversation like this. And he was just like, yeah, I think Terry's cool. And we talked about how, how Terry's kinda cool. But, like, he didn't force me to, to talk about Smash. It was great. Shout out Fuckly, bro. Uh, for, uh, for not just talking to me about Smash. Like, info dumping me at Smash for half an hour. Stop streaming and play me in Ford Strike. No, I'm streaming, bro. I'm gaming. My people call me. Also, we have, we're in, like, completely different time zones. Like, every time, every time you, you DM me, it's, like, a time that would be reasonable for you to DM me if separated by 12 hours. So it would be like 3 in the morning or something for me, but I think it's, I think it's, you know, 3 in the afternoon for you is my guess. So, you know, it's just kind of, it's unfortunate. But also, weren't you literally on hotel Wi-Fi last time we played? Every move's available from the start. Yeah, I believe that, because I, I can do, I found burn, because it only told me about rising tackle. Oh my god, I can't get any of my moves to come out. I'm like DSP, I'm like, well, I can't get any of my moves to come out. This is bullshit. Uh, yeah, it told me about Rising Tackle, but like I was able to do Rising Tackle and Burn Knuckle and Power Wave before the game told me. Oh, where's my Burn Knuckle? There it is. Burn Knuckle! Crack Shoot is down back, half circle forward, up forward kick. What the hell? Ha down back, half circle forward, up forward. So it's almost like a Tiger Knee. Okay, like an old Tiger Knee. Alright. I guess 69 credits in. Does this game have like an upward limit? Nice. All right, there we go. Um, that's Ken with his hat from Smash. Yeah, it's Hat Ken. You guys remember when um when they put Kazi on Smash, like Kazi Mishima, you know, from Tekken, from from, uh, from Smash, and he um and all these people, all these little Smash guys, were like. Oh my god, who's this character? This is not an iconic fighting game character at all. Or an iconic video game character at all. Who's Kazi? Why don't they put in Scrub Shido from, uh, you know, this fucking Game Boy Advance game? It's like, dude, it's Kazuya from Tekken. You know Tekken? Like, the only 3D fighter people actually play? <laughs> Half circle forward tiger, need to. Fucking stupid input. SNK, I love SNK, bro. KOF is awesome. Um, and I love Garo. Garo is really good. I love Terry. Um, Terry is the coolest guy ever, but oh my god, some of these inputs suck. Tiger! What's up, Mug Dumbo the Death bro? Tiger? How a wave! I like when he morphs back in like the little, little funny man. Oh, no Rising Tackle. Doing Rising Tackle on a Flash Kick motion. I've been playing, I play a lot of KOF, not a lot, but I play KOF 15 with my buddies. And, uh, I'm the Rising Tackle on a DP motion. Oh my god. <laughs> No burn knuckle? I've become so fan is because they knew I would have flown across the ocean and won. You know? Wouldn't have been fair. Okay, so what is crack shoot again? Down back, half circle forward, up kick. Oh shit! I love crack shoot. Crack shoot's a cool move. I'm definitely pro crack shoot. Is crack shoot my favorite Terry move? Other than like supers? Uh maybe. It's crack shoot or burn knuckle. I think it might be Crack Shoot, though. Just because I like when he, like... Or no, no, you know what it is? It's Power Dunk. It's definitely Power Dunk. Oh, that's bullshit. This is bullshit. Fuck this game. <laughs> I hate SNK. I'm going to buy a Neo Geo just to hit it with a hammer. Okay, but we're learning. We did a Crack Shoot. Where should I keep inputting? Let's do 101. That's a nice number. That tickles my brain. Oh, it only goes up to 99. This is bullshit. Terry. I'm gonna play Terry until I get sick of playing Terry and then I'll switch to Joe. Is is it just you the stream lag? Is the stream lagging? Shit. Um 
Let me try something. One second. Yeah, Streamlabs says I'm dropping frames over the last few minutes. Let me... Oh, is it badly? Shit. Okay, one second. Let me... Let me try something. Give me a second. I'll be back in, like, a second. Okay, let's see if it's better now. I've, I've closed a bunch of shit. Um, I've switched to a different network. Hopefully it's better. But if it's not, I'll have to figure something out. Drop frames, are you fucking? <laughs> I'm still dropping frames. Am I still dropping frames? It's still lagging? Yeah, holy shit, it's lagging really bad. Damn, bro, that's fucked up. Give me a sec. Okay, let's see if this is any better. I, uh, it looks like I was having an issue with my wired connection. 
Um, so it defaulted to using my Wi-Fi instead. So um, let's try again. <laughs> if it's still laggy, I'll figure something out. But um, but let's try it. Let's try it. And if it's still if it's still laggy or whatever, let me know, like please, because thank you for letting me know. I would have just gone on and streamed for you know the rest of the, the night. Um, <laughs> lagging the crap. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. It's still laggy. I don't even know what that would be, man. But is like my voice okay? Like is my voice lagging at all? Or is it... My voice isn't weird? Okay, cool. Um, so let's just try it. And hopefully the, the visual lag sorts itself out. Okay, cool. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream for real this time. There was no stream that happened before this. There was no, uh, there was no laggy half hour of stream before this. What's up? Welcome to my first time actually starting this stream. Damn, I'll probably, I'll have to add a good timestamp for the YouTube comment. Okay, but hopefully it's better now. And if it's not, then I'll end the stream and do it another day, but hopefully we're good. It was all a dream. Uh, man, I'm so glad my internet was really reliable and that my computer didn't like weirdly switch. That's unblockable. Okay, we're learning. Uh, I'm so glad that my computer didn't weirdly uh, suddenly drop my wired connection really strangely. Have I watched the Street Fighter movie? No, I've seen I've seen clips. I've all genuinely wanted to watch it. Me and my buddies. Um, me and my buddies have always wanted to like do like a fighting game movie night, like where we get together and we watch like you know the KOF movie, we watch the, the Tekken movies, we watch whatever. Uh, we never got around to it though, but uh, I've always wanted to watch the Street Fighter movie because from the clips I've seen, it looked really bad. Let's crack, let's crack shoot again. Nope. Oh my god! Rising tackle. I'm. <laughs> I swear I can do flash kick inputs. Oh my god! I just keep getting jumping punch. Rising tackle is punch, right? <laughs> it's it's. It's charged down a punch. It's not a flash kick. It's a flash punch, right? Or am I just dumb? You know, because I totally wasn't playing this game before. There was no lagging stream. Versus Kung Fu Ru. I'll be announcing this game. It's so lagging. Power wave! It's kind of a cool animation for power wave. Oh! It might, it's not kick, is it? No, okay. Do I have to do I might be doing it. Okay, yeah, I have to do it during pre jump frames. I have to input the button. We're learning. It's my burn knuckle, bro. It's my burn knuckle. Why can't you be tongue? I don't know, bro. I mean, what do you mean? I, uh, I haven't played this game before. This is my first time playing this game. Oh my god. Oh crap, I'm stunned. I didn't even realize. I keep forgetting they're stunned in this game. That's the rain effect is very cool. I will, I will definitely get this game. This. Where's my burn knuckle? Either I'm bad at half search, or is it, is it short? Or is it something weird? Damn, dude, I'm just gonna spam crack sheet. Crack sheet's a pretty strong. Gaming, bro. This is like this feels like Street Fighter One. I was originally gonna be like, "There's no way, Fatal Fury One is gonna be like Street Fighter One," and I think it's better. Like it, it, it feels better than Street Fighter One, but it's not by a whole lot. You beat Champion Edition twice while on the boarding gate. Damn, bro. Congratulations. Proud of you, son. Tung Fu Ru. Tung Fu Ru. Round one. No, no. no. Where's my, where's my Hadouken, bro? Or, not Hadouken, where's my, uh, where's my Power Wave? <laughs> 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 
see, because sometimes I feel like I'm undershooting it, right? And I'm just getting a standing punch. Or I'm not getting anything. But then sometimes I... There you go. I don't know. I couldn't tell you what I did differently that time. There we go. Now we're getting it. I don't know why. Strange. Okay, the, the circling is kind of cool. This is like the OG 3D fighting. Damn, bro. Tumblr is kicking my ass. We're gaming. We're gaming. Do I own any Funko Pops? I do not own any Funko Pops. Um, I've seen a couple that I've considered buying. Where I'm like, oh, cool. This is like a Charmander. I love Charmander or whatever. But, um... No, I, at the end of the day, the aesthetic of the Funko Pop doesn't really do much for me. You know, I think they're kind of... Like, I watch them and I'm just like, oh, this is just a... Uh, plastic thing. I don't know. It, like, it doesn't really even register to me. It's like a really much of it. It's like, oh, it's a plastic thing. There's nothing really wrong with that. Like, like, Funko Pops are cool, but... Stop hitting me! Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, bro. Tung Fu Ru. Fuck this guy. The Hadouken on the table. Indeed, the Hadouken on the table, bro. Oh my god. Maybe I have to put the Terry hat on. Maybe I have to go, like, reach for my Terry hat that's, like, right next to me and put it on. Maybe that'll get me one. Okay. Burn knuckle! Oh, we did it! Power wave, okay. Can I get crack sheet? Or am I too ambitious? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Get away, get away, get away. Answer the question. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Why can't I be... No, I don't know, I'm just getting blown out. Also, I looked at chat there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no more looking at chat. Sorry, chat, you're getting ignored, bro. Um, I'm not looking at you anymore. I gotta beat this guy, this old guy. Oh, burn knuckle whiffs on him, but he's small! Okay, I'm... Damn, I just Please don't do that, bro. That's really obnoxious. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. This is like, um, this is like the Eagle fight. When I did Street Fighter 1, I just, like, couldn't beat Eagle. I couldn't figure it out. And I don't know what my strategy was. I think it was just throwing myself at the, <laughs> the character. Howard Arena. You guys ever think about how Geese Howard has a tower called Geese Tower? That's crazy. You love the Terry drawing? Thank you. I did that, um, I went to do the stream. I'm trying to do stream thumbnails now. So I went to do the stream, and I was like, oh, I don't have a thumbnail. So I opened, I opened Paint, and I did the Terry drawing in, like, 30 seconds. Um, no, not that my not that my art I put effort into is any better, but but I'm glad the Terry drawing is getting appreciated. Are we talking about the Daigo Perry milk? What are you talking about? <laughs> what what conversation did I miss? The Daigo Perry milk. Like does one? How does one Daigo Perry milk? Oh, what's the timing for, for... I think I'm just not charging for long enough. Milk the Daigo Perry? How does one milk the Daigo Perry? It doesn't even have butter as well. It's like uh, every time I see almond milk, I make the same dumb joke, you know? How does one milk the almond? See, unlike Street Fighter 1, this game has... Holy shit! This game has, um, making 50 bits about it. No, it's badass. The Daigo Perry's cool. The Daigo Perry's cool. I like seeing it. I like seeing people do the Daigo Perry. You go, you see his face? Yeah. The, the best Daigo Perry videos, though, are the videos with of Justin Wong. Like, somebody get the first, like, two or three hits of the parry against him, and he'll freak out. And then they'll drop him, like, Oh, okay. We're safe. It's pretty funny. You know, it's like the most famous moment, arguably, in esports history, easily in fighting game history. No, I can't blame people for trying to get their bag, bro. Oh god, he's invincible. Oh, now he's big, so burn- Oh, get fucked. Holy shit, I'm so good. Am I using a Mac? I am using a Mac. Have I Daigo parried? I I've done it in training mode. Um, I got, dude, I, in a real match, though, I'd have to find the footage. It's like way back in my Fightgate archive on like, my old account. Um, but I got the first, what is it, it's like a 14 hit parry? I think I got the first, like, the first round. So the first series of lightning kicks before chun turns and lifts her other leg. I got that one. And, um, 
and I felt really like good about myself for a little bit, but I didn't complete it. So it was Using KB, KB. I'm not sure what KB is, man. I'm sorry. Can you press forward before or after the animation? Um, I pressed it forward. My my opponent was gonna chip kill. It was like the classic, you know, Daigo Perry situation. Was my opponent was gonna chip kill me, and I saw them like crouch. Um, you know, and that's that crouch is the first quarter circle or something, or maybe the second quarter circle in their super motion. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna tap forward, and if they don't do super, then I'm, it doesn't really matter. But if they do tap, super, tap, if they do do super rather, I like parried. Uh, and I ended up getting the first couple of parries, but I think most of the time, like I think it's a much tighter window to parry afterwards. I think depending on the spacing, you either do have time or you have like a frame or like two frames. Or something. Uh, and I'm just a bit more confident in my ability to hit it before. Did I win? No, he won. Wow, this is bullshit, bro. Yeah, I can't figure out the sidestepping. I thought like maybe I double tap up and they sidestep, but it seems like just whenever I jump and press a button, I like sidestep. It's it's kind of cool. Like I can tell what they're trying to do, but I don't think the technology was quite there for for sidestepping. And when did this game come out? 90, 90 something? Probably not. Probably 80 something. Like late 80s. Or maybe early 90s. Maybe like 90. I think it was 91. I want to say. I don't know. I wasn't allowed to. Do it. Oh my god. See, this is when the AI just goes like, fuck you, I'm taking your point, buddy. An AI round. Second part of the Daigo parry, like like you did the, you blocked the first sequence and then, and then like parried the, the second repetition, or? What would Sean's punish be there? Um, I guess it depends on the super you're running. But, cause, cause, Sean's DP kind of sucks and it's really shitty range. So you'd probably have to just do like jump, then do like your jumping button, then just like walk forward super, or like crouch for your super or something. Daigo Parry is pretty cool though. Huge fan. Your controversial opinion that Daigo Parry is cool. Let me flash kick, let me flash kick, let me flash kick, let me flash kick, let me flash kick. Rising tackle. Damn, bro, we're gaming. I'm gonna beat Tunkuru eventually, bro, and it'll be the best experience of my life. Watch this burn knuckle. Oh, I'm crazy. If you ever fought Justin Wong, I never have, no. Doesn't he, uh, I'm not sure if he lives in Canada, but I know he's in Canada frequently. Like, he's in, like, Vancouver, which, you know, technically the same country, but a bit of a distance away from where I am. Uh, here. But. Um, I think I remember hearing these so, you know, it's possible, like, our connection probably would be horrible, but no, I've never got a case of that. He'd wash me, dude. I'm like, I'm like just kind of an at third strike. I'm the level of, I'm the level of good where, like, I can beat my buddies, that's about it. <laughs> Medium kick Tatsu for Sean Meterless. Yeah, but I'm thinking, like, optimal damage. Like, what's the absolute highest damage Sean can do off that punish? How do burst? Yeah. How do burst is pretty good. You probably. Do you have EX? No, I guess you don't have any good EX. I guess EX Tatsu is like. Okay. Or, I guess, what do they call it? Tornado? EX Tornado? Yeah, Sean's, Sean's like cool. I like picking Sean because I like the basketball. But yeah, he kind of sucks. And I think he's intentionally like crappy. Because they were like, we want to get people a uh, crappy, like, meme character to play against their buddies. Okay, jump with me. Oh, wait, I'm on this. I think wait, I think I'm realizing how the side setting works. Is when I'm on the sidelines, I can't do special moves. Oh my god. I keep forgetting I have a throw. I feel like I should throw more. You know, I feel like that's probably an option I'm not using. This game old AF. Yeah, it's like um 91, so what was that? Like 30 years ago? Oh, excuse me. 32? Yeah, kinda of crazy. Oh my god, it whiffs on like the small guy, I keep forgetting. Stop sidestepping me, bro. Stop, Terry, bro. Just stay on one plane. Oh my god. Now he's big. At least I can burn knuckle him now. If I can get him. And I can't get crack shoot. Wait, I'm gonna start doing like a DSP. I'm gonna be like, wow, garbage. That's optimal fun if you be sure you can, and yeah, that makes sense. And I guess depending on how close you are to the You probably couldn't do. Could you do it in the corner? Like if Chun Li did the super from the corner, would you maintain the corner position? Maybe, yeah, I guess so. Because then you can do like the double show you can. 
But I don't see a whole lot of Sean players pick. Sure, are you canon? I tend to see Super 1 for the EX and for like how consistent you get it, or Super 2 for like the. the, um. what do you call it? Or Super 3, rather, for the, uh, like the confirm, the heavy kick confirm and shit. Uh, you gonna make a PO box? Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> if, if enough people go, hey, I'm gonna send you something that, you know, is the anthrax. I'd consider making a PO box. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had anybody go like, hey, I want to mail you something. What's your PO box? But if people was, eh, started doing that, I'd go like, yeah, you know, I'd set up a PO box. I'd receive, like, some anthrax or something in the mail. Yeah. Jump, would it be jump medium kick is most optimal punish? Wouldn't you want to press jump heavy kick? Like, neutral jump heavy kick? Code most optimal punish? Yeah, raw axe. Raw axe. That's the classic. I've seen the Vapiel. I know what's up. Oh, get fucked. to go so good. But yeah, so if somebody, if, if I make a PO box, it would be exclusively to have, you know, horrible things mailed to me. Like, bombs are going. I'm gonna say, like, don't send me any, don't send me letters, you know, don't send me postcards, I just want you to send me, like, horrible things. Game me? Nah, bro, I'm streaming. You message me, like, talk constantly, going, like, bro, game me. It's like, sir, I live in, a, I, I'm 12 hours either ahead or behind you. Um, I am, I am sleeping, or, you know, at work, or whatever. I'll game you when I'm on video games, bro, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay. Can I get land on the power? The, the good thing about the power, oh my god, I am taking so much damage. Oh, I whiffed the throw! In Fatal Fury? Oh god, in Fatal Fury. This is a game, bro. This is definitely a game. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to beat the arcade mode. That's my goal for tonight. And if I have time, if I beat the arcade mode, and I'm like, yeah, I'm down to keep playing, then I'll, I'll game you. Do some gaming. Oh my god. He's the big guy. It's like the Terry Quarter and EX Buster Wolf. He goes, Here comes the big one, you know? And I'm like, Here comes the big one. Oh my god, that does so much damage, bro. I'm like, Oh, we, I'm like, This might be it, this might be it, but it never is because then I take a majillion damage on that fireball. Oh, oh, ooh. Mm. Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. <laughs> Cute art as always. Thank you, Mario. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I do my best with my <laughs> crappy little MS paint. Okay. Tongue. What was it? I don't even remember this guy's name. Tongue something? I remember it was three words. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. Uh, Richard Meyer. Richard Meyer. Richard Meyer. Alright. Burn knuckle. No, no burn knuckle. Whoa, what is this guy doing? Stop, stop, stop. Get hit, get hit. Can I just do that? Is that the strategy? Is just like get them in the corner and like mash or punch? Or punch? I wanna say life punch. I wanna say like jab, but it's just punch. Oh, I'll get fucked. Why does he look strong? I don't know. I mean, that, that felt pretty easy, but now that I've said that, the next round is gonna like just wipe me, you know? Game him. Terry's cool. I'm definitely pro Terry. Where are we supposed to be? Like, it's clearly a bar, but why is everybody like sure this? It might not be a bar, but I'm assuming it's a bar. Uh, no, it's like a temple, actually, the more I look at it. I assumed those things in the background were bottles on a shelf. They look like people on a, uh, uh, like a, a rafter. And there's dudes in the back of like instruments. I, are we in a temple of some sort? Or maybe like a dojo. Oh my god. I will not lose to Richard Meyer. Oh god, I got anti -aired. I did lose to Richard Meyer, bro. I said it, and the game heard me. Alright, do not jump at me. Favorite MF Doom song? I don't know. I'm not sure I have one. I feel like I just don't listen to enough MF Doom to, like, have a favorite MF Doom song. You know, I don't tend to have a favorite song. Because I feel like in order to have a favorite song, this is my weird opinion, that I have to have like a complete, uh, not a complete understanding, but a pretty thorough understanding in order to talk catalog, and I just don't think I have that one up there. Um, MF Doom's cool. Like, I, I always kind of, I'm not a huge hip-hop guy, but when I listen to MF Doom, I'm like, MF Doom is cool. You know? Oh, I'm crazy, dude. Fuck this Richard Meyer guy. 
They spelled his name differently. It was M E Y uh, on the character select screen, and now it's M Y. Bro, that's crazy. All right, Richard Meyer was so much easier. I think um, I don't even remember the guy's name, but dude who kept getting big. I think he, other than Geese, I know Geese is gonna. <laughs> Geese gave me a lot of shit. Because the move, I think, is the way I understand it in this game, is that the move that Geese has, like in later KOF games, like his parry super. Oh, fuck this. Uh, his parry super. It's like, you know, the frame one counter. Is like, it, obviously, there's no meter in this game, so it's entirely meterless. So if you're, um, if you're hitting Geese, the AI can just decide, I'm actually parry. Which sounds really fun. I'm sure not gonna get tilted by that. He might not have the parry. He might not have the parry in this game. But I feel like it's so iconic to his kid, he has to. You know, Geese is like the parry character. Yeah! yeah I like that sound effect. Yeah, Rising Tackle. The next fatal blow! Little Fall Guys Terry walks over the subway. Duck King! That's a good name. Duck King. Why does he look like that? That's not what how I would envision the duck king. Oh, I tried to anti air resin tackle. That would've been sick. Oh, that doesn't knock down. Okay, good to know. Wait, I only use it on anti air commands. I think I recognize this music somewhere. Okay. I love Terry, bro. I love Terry's voice actor. All of them. I love all of them. Except for the guy from KOF Maximum. If I reach, goes like, "Are you okay, Buster Wolf?" It's like, "Wow, you suck." And Terry's other voice actor is like, he like scream and like cry and stuff. And this guy's just like, "Are you okay?" And I'm sure he's doing his best. You know, I can't fault him. It's just like, I think I guess okay, I hired the wrong guy. What was crash shoot again? Oh yeah. Crack sheet. Eat my fireball. Eat my fireball. Don't, don't jump. Don't stop, stop, stop. Stop bullying me! I'm getting bullied by Duck King. Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> I do like the hat physics. I'm not sure how much effort would have gone because I don't know enough about programming in you know, the 1991 of the Neo Geo. But I don't know how much effort would have gone into making like the hat physics where like Terry's hat goes flying and it stuffs. And er, it sucks. It, uh, it, you know, falls and stuff like according to you know physics. It's very cool. But um, I'm really glad they did that because it looks really sick. Parry it. Yeah, I wish I had a parry, bro. I wish I could just like tap forward. Duck King says I could fight you while dancing, dude. Duck King kind of talks like me, bro. That's how I talk, dude, bro, buddy. This music is driving me insane every time I hear that. You know? Stop hitting me. Can you still see the chat comments? I, I not when you delete them. Like, when you send them, I can see them pop up on my, uh... My like little stream labs thing, but then when you delete them, they're gone. I just tend to answer quickly. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the rising tackle. The charge time feels kind of long. Oh, and that that is a very narrow hitbox. Rising tackle. I, rising tackle might not like beat work as a function as a reversal in this game. I feel like I'm trying to reversal rising tackle. It's not working. And I don't know if that's me failing to get rising tackle, or if it's just a lack of visibility frames. Do I have crack shoot? I do have crack shoot, but the the motion is really weird. It's uh, it's down back, and then half circle like to up forward. It's like a like a tiger knee. If you know like the old tiger knee input, it's that. Uh, but you know I'm so used to it being quarter circle back kick. You know, it's critical back kicking like Garo, it's critical back kicking like KOF. And also there's only one kick button, so it's not like I can do like, you know, light crack shoot or heavy crack shoot or whatever. It's just crack shoot. Do you crack? Yeah. What an epic, epic joke. Oh 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw a fireball, hope he lands on it. Oh wait, was he stunned? Okay, whatever. I win, I win anyway. Nah, 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 nah. I'm kind of vibing in this music. It's growing on me. Stop, go, go, get away. There's a lot of that. He has a Blanca ball. That was so meany, bro. Is meaty the worst fighting game term? Let's discuss. Of like the fighting game slang that is, you know, in the common parlance, like it's universal across games. Which one is the worst? I think it's meaty. I don't need, like, it's just, uh, I don't, uh, just something's a very unpleasant sensation in my brain. I just go, like, uh, meaty cross. Paul's theme from Tekken 2? I don't think I could, I could sing Paul's theme from Tekken 2. I'm not sure how that one goes. But I'd believe it, just because, like, oh, Michael Max. Just because, like, a lot of old fighting game music is, has a very particular feel to it. Oh, excuse me. There's even a feel to old fighting game music that I can't quite describe. I don't know if it's like the limitations of the, the like system forcing you. Like obviously like there's a certain like sound font, right? There's like chips and stuff. Not chips, but you know, I don't really know enough about virtual music creation, but there's only a particular amount of like sounds you can use, so that's part of it. But also um, there's just a very particular like sense of melody and harmony and stuff that I think I, I associate with like vintage video game music but that could just be me like uh, retrofitting my understanding that it is video game music to a pretty good music. who knows you know I hate Michael Max bro I hate this Michael Max guy oh god stop don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me he hit me, bro. I asked him not to. I was like, do not hit me. I said it four times, and he just hit me. It's fucking bullshit. I still got 98 credits left, though. How much money is that? If we assume each play is a quarter, it's like, yeah, 25 times 100 would be what? 25 bucks? You're right? Yeah, 25 bucks. So we got about 25, just under 25 bucks, like 24 bucks ish in this machine right now. Dude, I don't know why I had so much trouble with the, the, the Incredible Hulk guy. Now that I'm just like abusing the fact that the AI doesn't block with jump jab or jump punch. <laughs> it's not jump jab, it's jump punch. It's only one punch. Terry Bogart. I didn't know Bogart had a son. I like SNK's commitment to this singular picture of geese. Oh my god. I hate this minigame. Okay. I'm just gonna mash. So, how's everybody's day? We all doing okay? You know, for me, it's the end of the day. For me, it's like 7.50. It's basically 8. Uh, well, okay. All right. But, uh, how's everybody's day? How's everybody's day looking? Oh, is it not even half circle? Is it just down, back, up, forward? Can I just go, like, straight? Quajai. This guy's... This guy's Muay Thai. This guy's Joe Higashi. What is he doing? He has iframes as he drinks, bro. I can't believe I call them iframes. What I associate iframes, is this just a me thing? I associate iframes with like Dark Souls or like other video games. where Because I feel like in fighting games, I tend to say it's just like invincibility. Uh, it's like when people say stun lock, like you're playing a fighting game and you do like, you know, jump, heavy punch, crouch, fierce uppercut or whatever. And they go like, wow, I was stun locked. I can block it. It's like, no, it's a combo. It's a pretty important part of the genre. Just don't get hit. Tiger knee, yeah, it's a tiger knee. Every Muay Thai character in a fighting game has to have a giant flying knee, like a comically large flying knee, you know? Jump, jab, strong, fierce. Are you playing Luke, bro? Oh, you mean like jump, it's all the buttons. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I understand. Take me a second. I used to know a guy, he's hanging out with a guy who would like try to play Street Fighter with us, and this is when like Luke would come up. Luke could come up. And Luke is, you know, Luke's not necessarily easy, like hit confirms and flash knuckle and stuff are difficult. 
but uh, he also has like mash combos. Like you can just mash medium punch or do like you know jab jab strong fierce and get a combo with Luke. So if you're looking to just like give somebody a kind of a baby character where they learn like three moves, then Luke's a pretty good option. But the guy I was playing with could not do like a fireball. You gotta like, go down, then go forward, then press punch. He just like couldn't. And this wasn't like in the span of a day. It was like in the span of weeks, months. He could not, after any of it, learn how to do a fireball motion with consistency. So he'd block a DP, and I'd be like, "Look, man, just do like jab, strong, fierce, or like you know, strong, 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 and you'll get a combo. It's not a great combo, but it's a combo. It's a punish." And he just like would press jab, and then was somehow able to not not able to execute jab, strong, fierce. It was kind of ridiculous. It was kind of crazy. It's like, man, how does one have? And it's not like he had like any kind of like issue with his hands or anything. He could do a lot of stuff fine. He just could not, for some reason, execute a fireball. It's crazy. Like, this guy comes back and like, this guy's crazy. Wow, alright, that was like a that was like Street Fighter 2 pummel throw, bro. I do not like that front spread. We recently went to an arcade. Oh, that's cool. I wish there were like good arcades where I live. How was that? They didn't have Capcom? What did they have? But. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna see if this works. Yeah, don't land on my fireball for one. They have Tekken 6? That's cool. Tekken 6 is cool. Damn, bro, I'm zoning. I'm zoning. Are there short hops? I just realized I haven't checked to see if there are short hops. I don't think there are, but let's check. Because to me, that's like the SNK thing, but this is also like the first SNK fighting game, so why not? The only videos you watch for Detect is I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Oh, okay. Short hop? No, okay. It's like it's just jump. It's just like a Street Fighter jump. Okay, crack shoot? Yeah. Crack shoot doesn't need the... Uh, it doesn't look like at least it needs the half circle motion. It's just... Uh, down, back, up, forward. That makes my life so much easier because I was trying to roll the motion, you know, I was trying to do like the circle. Crack shoot. Crack shoot's cool. Crack shoot's definitely out there. It's one of my favorite characters. No! I believe! Bro. Fuck Raiden, bro. Raiden. I'm not even sure how you pronounce this guy's name. Do I have power dunk? I don't have power dunk. Dude, I love power dunk. I wish I had power dunk. Power dunk is sick. You play Tekken Tag in arcades? He had some experience. Who do you play, bro? Who do you play in uh in Tekken? Raiden, yeah. Is it Raiden? Okay. Like like uh like Mortal Kombat, not like Metal Gear. This is supposed to be a power wave. There we go. I don't know what happened there. Okay, this guy's just spitting at me. Alright, I got grabbed. I got grabbed. Hi, Hachi. Okay. Kazuya. Yeah, I play Kazuya in, in Tekken. That's my character. I'm not, like, great at Tekken. I'm okay. Like, here's the thing. is that I don't... don't I, I like Tekken. I just don't play it a whole lot. Um, I like Tekken. I play Kazuya. I haven't played Tekken in ages, though. I probably couldn't electric anymore. I used to have a reasonably consistent electric, but, uh, but uh, I, I definitely don't have it anymore. I haven't played, like, I haven't played Tekken for any extended degree of time. Like, months. I should stream Ford Strike. I've considered it a lot, um, is playing Ford Strike. Uh, or, like, streaming Ford Strike. I'm going to stream Ford Strike. That'd be cool. I have no experience with it, so I'd have to, like, pull up the change list. Oh, excuse me. See what they've changed, like... Ooh, what moves they've added, what moves they've taken away, what adjustments they've made. Do I plan on streaming Tekken? I might. Um, I don't know. I plan on streaming a lot of things. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my uh, I'm doing my series of like where I try to play every arcade Street Fighter. Um, so I want to finish that at some point, but I probably will like intersperse that just between other streams. I'm def I'm obviously gonna do Street Fighter Six when it comes out. Um, when Chaos comes like crossplay, I might I might do that one, stream that one a little bit. I probably I'll probably stream a lot of things. 
I'm gonna stream RE4, honestly. I got, I bought the RE4 remake today, and it, I haven't downloaded it yet, but like I bought it, and uh, I'm really excited to play that. Uh, like RE4 is like awesome. Controversial play. I wasn't originally gonna buy it, like I was gonna wait for the price to go down, but then everybody I know who played it was telling me that it's like the greatest video game. It's like their favorite video game for the last five years. Like, where's my power wave? I have to delay the button slightly. Like I have to do the input and then input the button. It's, it feels kind of weird. I am reading chat, bro. They made Blue Nocturne good. That's crazy, dude. Like here, Blue Nocturne has such an uphill battle. Like the fact that there's a super freeze. Like we, I was talking about the geese parry earlier. And the geese parry is good because there's no super freeze. You know, it just kind of comes out. So if you whiff it, your opponent like can still commit to something. Or like your opponent like doesn't have a giant obvious super freeze to react. I've got to land something stupid. Um, and then also, like, it's a game with a parry system in it. So, like, why would you give up your your SA1 and SA2 for a parry when you already have a parry? Like, a meterless parry? So, um, you know, SA, S, or, uh, SA3, Blue Nocturne, has a bit of a uphill battle, but... Like, I'm sure there are ways to make it good. I guess you remove the super freeze, you make it juggle properly. Um, there's probably other shit as well that I'm just, like, not even thinking about. Like, you have to make it higher damage, probably give it more than one bar. I don't know. Make it, like, frame one. I'm not even sure if it's frame one after the super freeze. Um, I, because I do not know the, uh, the frame data on Blue Nocturne, surprisingly. Kuma has Misogi. That's cool. Misogi's cool. Damn, bro, it shows me Power Wave last. I feel like that's the one, if you're coming from the Street Fighter, that you try first. You know, you'd, you'd never fake, like, you might figure out the Flash Kick, but when I pick up a character, I tend to do motion inputs first, and then charge inputs. Like that. The uh, Billy Kane. Billy Kane. Wow. That was, that was a wash. That was crazy. I'm so hungry, bro. I'm not gonna eat. <laughs> uh, I, I'm definitely gonna eat. I'm, I, I'm after. I'm gonna take a break in a second. Oh wait, but this game doesn't have a pause button. Never mind. I have to beat it in one sitting. That's okay. I suffer for my art. I suffer for you guys. Holy shit! I'm getting washed. Damn, bro, that crosses up. Fuck Billy, bro. I got a buddy of mine who hates Billy in KOF 15. Imagine if he played this version of Billy. Billy looks so fucked up. Look at his weird eyes. Gil is playable? That's cool. They're like, I'm assuming they balanced Gil, right? It's not like 30th... 30th no, uh, I don't know. Third Strike Online, where the, it's just like, oh, here's its normal... Um, normal Gil, but he's playable. Charge Sean. Like, they made hit all of his moves a charge character, so he's like a charge Shoto. That's kind of cool. That seems like a good way to, you know, get across the fact that he's kind of bad at fighting while still maintaining, like, you know, consistency or whatever. Fireball and DP? That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. I never would have thought of that. If you were like, how do we make Sean good? Just make him a charge character. Or how do we make him like anything? And make, make him a charge character. Okay, I gotta figure out the cheese. There's cheese in every one of these fights. I'm gonna cry. Akuma has Masatsu Gorison. Which one is Masatsu Gorison again? I always forget. There, it could have so many Masats this, Masats that, bro. Is that... Yeah, um, which one is Masats Gerson? I'm trying to think of what it would be, I have no idea. SF4 Super... Oh, yeah, 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 like the, the up kick. The... What's, what was that move called in Street Fighter? Like Ultra 2, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's a cool one. That's a really cool one. I like the cinematic effect. Like the teleport cancels were really cool. The fact that Akuma's, both of Akuma's ultras were so hard to, like, so technical to land is kind of interesting. Holy shit, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Billy Kane. Damn, bro. Billy Kane looks so much better in these recent games. Oh, he's like, a, like an install super? Like a, like a Makoto Super 3? That's kind of cool. I like that. Like, it makes him a monster. I guess that kind of works like V-Trigger, right? Is V-Trigger in Street Fighter 5, V-Trigger 1 specifically, kind of turns him into, like, you know, a strong, like, just a stronger, like, Shinokuma kind of thing. 
Oh, okay, I can just rack up chip damage when he's like cowering. Dude, yeah, I got fucked Billy Kane. And Terry throws the hat off. Hell oh, yeah. Love Terry. He's in SF5? Yeah, he, but he's not even like the single player mode. It's like he's in like. If you be like Street Fighter 2's arcade mode or something. You sound like Chills if you didn't talk like Chills. <laughs> what? Alright, I'm just gonna say number 15, like Burger. I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna do it like just in the way I normally speak, and I, I want I want you to evaluate how accurate you feel like that is. Um, number fifteen, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want in somebody else's burger is or no, the last thing you want in your Burger King burger is somebody's foot fungus. But that might be exactly what you get. How is that? Was that chills? If I didn't talk like chills, you know what it might be. Uh, I'm thinking about it now. I think chills wrong. No, okay. It, did I misremember it? I'm gonna lose this. Uh, but you know what it might be is that Chills and I are both Canadian. Like, I think Chills is from like Calgary or something. So we probably have the same accent. Or similar accents. And like, you know, vocabularies and whatever. All Canadians sound like Chills. Terry for Street Fighter 6. I remember seeing a leak. And it was a fake leak, like 90, 98% sure it's a fake leak, 99% sure it's a fake leak, of like going like season one DLC, bro, the last season one DLC character in, in Street Fighter Six is going to be Terry. And I don't think it's going to be Terry, but what if it was? What if it was? That'd be crazy. I generally do not much care for crossover characters, but there are, there are, you know, like I think Terry, like in the same way I think Akuma fit really well into Tekken. I think Terry would fit really well in Street Fighter. Um, you know what the worst crossover character is of all time is Negan. Because sometimes crossover characters like don't really fit their game, but it's cool. Like like Darth Vader and Yoda and Soul Calibur doesn't really fit necessarily the game. They feel kind of out of place, but it's cool because it's Darth Vader. But Negan in Tekken 7 was didn't feel in, in place or felt out of place rather, and also. Like who? Who at? Literally, who asked for for Negan in Tekken? Like people go, oh, I want Terry in, in Street Fighter, or I want Akuma in Tekken. But who? Whoever at any point thought to themselves, yeah, I think we should put Negan in Tekken. Like they could have just put him in Soul Calibur. That would have made a bit more sense. It would have been stupid. Like uh, Geralt or in 2B in Soul Calibur. That's cool. Uh, Almaru from, or what's his name? What's this, the, the main guy from Samurai Shorten? Is it Almaru? How, how, I'm not really sure to pronounce it. But uh, he was cool when they did him in, was it Soul Calibur? I think it was Soul Calibur. Yeah, there's definitely cool crossover you can do, just not Negan. Should be Sean. Sean for Street, I want Sean for Street Fighter 6 as well. I think it would be really cool to put Sean in Street Fighter 6. Definitely pro Sean, pro Sean in this household. Um, Sean from from Street Fighter specifically. People complain about Kazi and Smash. Now Kazi and Smash is cool, bro. I remember people like doing that though. I remember people going, "Oh my God, who is this random character um, that they added?" Like, I've never heard of this character. Like, it's Kazuya from Tekken. You know, like, come on, right? If you, if they're like, "Oh, we're gonna put like fucking." I don't know. What, who else do they have in Smash? They have some interesting picks in Smash. Like Captain Falcon, right? I probably, if Captain Falcon wasn't in Smash, more people would know Kazuya than Captain Falcon. And that's cool. I like Captain Falcon. I play Captain Falcon, but, like, come on. <laughs> it's Kazuya, bro. Hagar with Street Fighter 6? Hagar and Street Fighter 6 would be very cool. Um, Q, scan it with 12 moves. I just want 12. Or Q. I'll take you there. Because I think that Q, Q specifically is like a few small tweaks away from being good. Whereas 12 kind of needs a complete overall. It doesn't need one, but he needs you know, some, some significant improvements. But I think it would be cool to see these characters who just languish in, you know, what do you want to call it? Um, mediocrity? Not even mediocrity, but language is garbage. Because if you look at like Street Fighter 2, right? Char even characters that aren't very good in Street Fighter 2, like Eve. Keith's still pretty iconic. Like, Keith comes back consistently, and Keith has gotten a fair shake. 
but like 12 and Q, they show up in the one game and they're infamously garbage because Third Strike isn't super well balanced. And then they never show up again. And it's like, oh, okay. Tragic. I feel like they'd be fine with Akuma in, in Tekken because Street Fighter characters are like a lot more well-known, I think, than any other fighting game. Like, Ryu and Ken were put in in Smash, and Smash players were like, I can't believe I have to do motion inputs. What a dumb, arbitrary test of execution. Like, bro, it's down forward punch. Come on. <laughs> um, it's, it's crazy, dude, that it's like, oh, if I do the motion input, I get a better one? It's like, yeah, it's cool if I can get good. You know, like, literally. Street Fighter players will do, like, you know, a series of motions back to back, and Smash players will go, I will not throw a single fireball. Don't be such a baby, bro. Jeez, officially cute. Is that official? I remember that was like a, like a fan theory for a while. I didn't know it was official. Yeah, bro, Billy Kane. Fuck Billy Kane. There are no motion. No, there are motion inputs in. Well, there aren't motion inputs in Smash except for like Terry and Kazuya and, and Ryu and whatever. Like, if they're coming from a character with. If they're coming from a game, rather, with motion inputs, then they have a motion input. Probably carried over from their game. Like, Terry has, like, you know, Buster Wolf and Power Geyser and stuff. Ryu and Ken and, and has, like, their moves. But there aren't, like, motion motion inputs. Like, outside of fighting game characters, nobody has a DP. Or a, a flash kick or whatever. Damn, bro, we'll get there. We'll beat Billy Kane. I'm getting closer. I've got to learn to cheese the AI. I think I got to chip him more when he loses his staff. Versus Billy Khan. Billy Khan? Billy Khan? Damn, bro. I've never heard it pronounced like that. I guess the game was made in Japan, so it makes sense that not all of the pronunciation of English names would be necessarily perfect. Damn, that did so much damage. It's kind of bullshit. Uh, the original pretty game, they have motion inputs. Yeah, like, Terry has motion inputs, Kazuya, Ken, and Ryu, I think, have motion inputs. And there might be other characters around them. I don't know. But those are the ones that come to my head, because I remember seeing Smash players on Reddit uh, going, Wow, it's so hard to do Buster Wolf. How do I do Buster Wolf? It's just, like, double quarter circle forward. And, like, I guess if you've never done a double quarter circle before, it could be a little bit tricky. But you'd think that that's something you could fix with, like, I don't know, a half hour of practice. Especially because it's more lenient. Like, you don't even have to be quarter circle. You should be down forward, down forward. Kratos for Street Fighter 6? That'd be dumb. <laughs> I don't think I would want Kratos in Street Fighter 6. I feel like it would just take me out of it. I think Kratos and, and Joker and stuff in Mortal Kombat are fine because Mortal Kombat's kind of, like, goofy. Mortal, and not to say the Street Fighter's goofy. Mortal Kombat, I feel like, has a tone just that fits that. Yeah, I made it. I am the champion. The battle was so long. I'm getting, I'm getting baited, though, because now I have to fight keys, right? Yeah. Dude, Geese is calling you. Come with us. Imagine they're abducting you and they call you dude. They're like, dude, you're getting abducted. There he is. Holy holy cow. You disturbed my plan again. I cannot lose. Round one. Round one fight. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do some this is gonna be an SNK boss fight. SNK boss syndrome. Oh my god. Oh my god, he throws those so quick. Can I crack shoot over those? Probably. If I can do the crack shoot. Which I can't. There it is. There's the parry. I knew it. I knew we had the parry. I knew we had the parry. Smash player who mains Terry. I find a funny little place. Can give me inputs. Yeah. Like, if you, I've, I've seen people say, like, I want to play Ryu in Smash or whatever. But I can't do the inputs. Like, And I get it if you've never done them before. But hit the lab. You know? Spend five minutes in training mode. And you'll realize it's pretty simple. Oh god, I gotta do a crack shoot. Oh, he beat it out, he beat it out. Is Geese wearing a watch? <laughs> Is Geese wearing a Rolex? Does Geese always wear a Rolex? Damn, bro, the cinematic cutscene, that's kinda sick. Kinda sick. Where's my end groove? Which one is end groove? I don't play, um. <laughs> I don't really play a CVS. I, I don't really, I mean, I've played CDS for like five minutes, like in my entire life. Holy shit. Holy shit, I fucking hate this hour. Can I do cancels? 
<laughs> Leaderless parry, bro. Can I cancel our cancels in this game? I don't think so, because cancels were a Street Fighter 2 thing, and this game was in development like at the same time as Street Fighter 2, so I don't... Fucking holy shit. Like, it, when a person does it to you, you're like, okay, yeah, I got red. That's badass. That's really cool. Good read. But when an AI does it, it's like, come on, bro. Come on. Fucking bullshit. I'm gonna shit myself. Dude, I, I need to just throw. I'm just gonna start walking up and throwing. Play CDS 2. I've considered it, but man, I have so many games. That play. I'm so busy. Like, I just, I can't really, excuse me, dedicate the time to like learning a whole new game. If my buddies aren't playing with me. Like, I'll learn a game if, if I'm playing with buddies. But, or I have like a Street Fighter game. I'm like, I, like, I love Street Fighter, boy. I love Street Fighter. Also, like, Terry Bogart is a real name. Like, if I met a dude on the street named Terry Bogart, I'd be like, cool, that's a good name, right? Like, that's a pretty standard name, I think. I've never met anybody named Bogart, but I believe it's a real name. And Howard is a real last name, but Geese Howard? Like, not even Goose Howard, Geese Howard, plural. Like, he's a bunch of them. That's a wacky name. Can I, can I wake up Rising Tackle? I can't Rising Tackle at all. When Ford's like, man, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could tell you, like, I'm in exams right now, so I have the issue of, like, my schedule, just in general, but especially, like, when am I available to sync the, not sync the time into, because I enjoy streaming. But, you know, when am I available to sit down and stream and, like, not feel bad about not doing homework or whatever? Uh, it's kind of tricky. So, I don't know when Ford's trick is going to be. He's taunted. Did he taunt? I didn't even catch that. This is crazy, bro. I'm going to on it. I'm going to uninstall. I'm going to rage quit fighting god rugel oh god no <laughs> Ram i like the way he says rambukin yeah don't don't parry me buddy you think if you were to like hack the game and play as geese howard like there would be a, a whiff animation of the parry probably not it's like how in old street fighter games man grabs didn't have whiff animations Fuck he's hard. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Like he's just cool in later KOF games when he's like playable. Because he's like really skill intensive because the event like the parries and stuff are like it require really hard reads and a really like strong psychological game. But uh, in this game it's just bullshit because I'm just getting for red. Oh I was gonna burn knock out! I'm gonna throw him, I'm gonna throw him. <sighs> Carry the grab? I might, I might. I just gotta figure out how to game the AI. <laughs> I thought Geese Howard kills you. Like, all the other characters beat you, Geese Howard kicks you out of a building. So badass, so cool. I will smash you like a small fly as I did your father. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna empty jump throw. That's my strategy. I'm gonna throw a power wave, I can't throw a power wave. I'm gonna throw. What was that? I just noticed the American flag on the back of this. I don't know what you would call that. Is that a gi? Is that the Aikido thing? I don't do Aikido, but is this the Aikido gear? I feel like I've seen people, like the Aikido masters, wear similar stuff. And like the, the, I don't know what to call it other than a skirt. But I don't know um, what you would call that. But that's what it looks like to me. It, this might just be something they made up, but that's what I'm like seeing, I think. Is like the Aikido skirt. That is skirt. Holy shit. Hakama? Is it a Hakama? I know Hakama is... Is that Kenjutsu? Kenjutsu, I think, is the Hakama. Um, I don't know if he's called the same thing in Aikido. Probably not. But who knows. Okay, it's night time. Our fight has lasted all day. Burn Knuckle? No Burn Knuckle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get thrown. Get fucking thrown. He's more... Yeah, bro, why isn't Rock Howard in this game? If Rock Howard hasn't been born yet, probably. In war? I don't even know how old Rock Howard is relative to like Terry in peace. <laughs> I love the little kick. It's so cool. It's such a nice attention to detail. I don't know. Nice little flourish. You will die before I let you in. Alright, peace. Alright, buddy. Alright, pal. 
Oh my god. Most balance SNK boss. I mean, genuinely, maybe. Like, there are some, there's some bullshit. I don't think I've ever played an SNK boss where I was like, yeah, this is, this is fair. I feel like I'm, I'm able to put up a real fight. I guess maybe the one in KO15 is a little bit more balanced than Geese Howard. <laughs> yeah, like Fatal Fury 1 Geese Howard. Alright. Keep walking out of my throw range, bro. Don't parry me, don't parry me, don't parry me. I cannot out fireball this guy. I cannot really out jump him. In concept, he can parry anything I do. Like, I win because the AI. Le oh my god! He parried the throw. He literally parried the throw. I walked up and I pressed the throw button. And I got parried. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. And that does half my life. Maybe not quite. That's like a third. I think if I understood how, like, the different levels stage work, I'd be doing better. But that could just be copium. I shit myself and cry. Okay, I cannot block any special moves. <laughs> and there it is. There's is the Rempo again. We're getting closer. And I don't know if that's the game just trying to bait me into spending more money by saying, Oh, you're so close. Alright, I have 98 credits. I don't need to keep pressing the coin button. I guess old habits, you know? Beast Howard. I like this, this art of Beast Howard. I think it's really cool. Famous last words. Yeah. Oh, no, bur no Rising Cackle? It's the charge time is the issue. Is that, like The charge time is so much longer than it is in later KO games. It feels even long relative. It feels like even long relative to Street Fighter. I just completely started over in that sense. My brain, I like, glitched out, bro. Geese Howard is like destroying my mind. My ability to speak. Oh my god, no Burn Knuckle. Oh. Oh, no throw? Okay, I'm noticing, um, what was I gonna say? I was noticing the special moves seem like they do random damage. So I think I just fish for like power waves and burn knuckles the whole time. There should be down up motion inputs. Well, there kind of is. The down down move that Capcom seems to be trying to use a lot. You know, um, they did it in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. They changed uh, Spider Sting, like Spider Man Spider Sting, to like down down button. And I didn't like that because I like the DP motion. Uh, they also gave Chun Li's lightning, uh, like up kicks, like Kenshiro Kyaku in Street Fighter 6 is going to be down down kick. That's kind of down up. It's not quite, but it's close. Because the problem with down up motion inputs is that if you go to air to air, like from a crouch, um, if you go to down, if you go to like air to air from a crouch, right? Like if you're crouching and you try to do like up and punch or whatever, you get a super or not a super special. So there's probably a little like a little bit of command overlap for trying to avoid. It. But even then, like I feel like that goes for for uh, down down inputs as well. It's like if I crouch and then like I stand and then I crouch again. I press a button, I kind of don't want to get up kicks or spider sting or whatever. I don't really much care for the down down input. Uh, I think it's kind of dumb, and I think they should have just given Chun Li a DP. Or made it a charge move. Uh, but I guess they're trying to make like Street Fighter more accessible, so they're removing some of this like motion inputs. But like every other character has motion inputs, bro. Like down down is is fine. Or make it like a flash kick. Go back to like super turbo, keep spinning your turbo different input. You know, or make it like a DP. Maybe Chun Li with a DP or with a real DP is too strong. I don't know. I don't like down, down, down. You watch that Shoryu kid? Yeah, I've, I've watched that Shoryu kid. Um, I'm not sure I'm subscribed, but I definitely like watch that Shoryu kid. He pops up on my, my homepage. Cannot beat Howard. Yeah, I cannot beat Howard, bro. I'm seething. I'm crying. Can we play? No, bro. I gotta beat Geese. I gotta beat this stupid guy. I almost said something vile. I almost said something a lot meaner. And I'm like, no, nope, this is a PG-13 stream. We'll say. I don't think I've dropped a few too many swear words for it to still be PG-13. We'll, we'll continue to labor under the, the delusion. Holy shit, I'm crazy. Okay, I love that, dude. The little Terry hat throw. Classic. Classic. Terry.
Terry, my beloved. Terry Boger, my beloved. Alright, burn knuckle. Nope. Holy shit. Holy shit, stop hitting me. Oh my god. Gaming. SNK boss syndrome. And then he kills me. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. it stopped being cool, it started being obnoxious. Oh, whoa, that whiffed? Damn, bro. He's having the janky ass hitbox. Not, not. Do not parry me. Do not parry me. Do not parry me. That's the strategy. Throw, power wave, burn knuckle. I've noticed that works basically every time I do it. The issue is that I cannot get the burn knuckle consistent. The, the fireball is like reasonably consistent. I feel like I don't, don't biff the input too much, but I, ca I can't get burn knuckle. I cannot get burn knuckle. And I don't know if it's a, like a slightly different input than what I'm used to or what. No, no power wave. That would have been it. Every time I make a sex joke, you ignore me. Yeah, uh, sex jokes are cringe. You know, there are so many funny things in this world. Um, as I say, sex jokes can be funny. Like, I make my fair share of sex jokes, but I don't find sex jokes in a vacuum very funny. And I don't really want to read it out loud, because if I say, like, some kind of vulgar sex stuff on <laughs> on stream, I, you know, I, that's just not something I really want to do. This is just boring. Yeah, I mean, I guess. You know. Yeah, I, I, get, I definitely get it. Like, I definitely get why you think it's boring. I'm having fun. Um, at least. That's all, that's all the You know, I do this because I want to have fun. I'm gaming. Making me chat mod? No, thank you. <laughs> I don't need a chat mod, bro. There's like five people in here. Trust me, if I needed a chat mod, bro, I would probably... Who would I hire as a chat mod? I don't know. I'd probably hire one of my buddies. Hit him with jump jab 50 times? Yeah. Do it for Rivers. Hell yeah, Rivers. Rivers Cuomo. Once with these homies, this ain't my girl. Okay, I just gotta, I gotta land. This is my strategy. Is throw, power wave, burn knuckle. It has yet to fail me. And your buddy? Yeah, but I mean like my, my, you know, <laughs> real life buddies. Who I've known for like years. Oh my fucking god. Okay, throw. Oh, no power wave. Oh my god. I gotta do another throw. That's okay. No, don't hit me, don't hit me. Do not use jump jab. Why not? Damn, bro. I guess I gotta throw him more. I feel like I'm, I'm just not throwing him enough. Drop your IP address. <laughs> I don't, I think that we are separated by an ocean, if I had to guess. I love watching and your jump jab. I've been watching your jump jab does not work. It'll work eventually, bro. Oh, no burn knuckle! Jump jab. <laughs> well, actually, it's not jump jab because I'm actually, there's only one punch button. <laughs> but also, you know, I'm gaming. His hitbox is pretty small. Yeah, he's like normal man size, you know. Oh, we'll get it eventually. I'm just gaming, you know. I mashed the coin button. What, do you want me Fatal Fury? Nah, bro, I gotta beat Geese, and then I'm gonna go eat, because I am starving, dude. You know what I'm thinking about, bro? I'm thinking about cool. I'm thinking about Shawarma. Oh, you were so close. Oh. We'll get there, we'll get there. Fucking Geese Howard, bro. This is like the Sagat fight. I'm not sure how many people here saw the... Uh, 
the Street Fighter 1 stream, but this is just that. Can I tick throw? I guess if, if I could if he doesn't keep walking up the door. Right? Oh my god. Oh, I live, I live! Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. Deep breath. Like his little laugh. Don't. I've been kicked off a building so many times, bro. Terry has died like 20 times, dude. Dana, Dana, Dana. Oh, okay, so I walk forward faster than he walks backwards, so I can just kind of, I'm just trying to keep throwing him, that's my strategy. Yeah, he did just taunt, you're right. I don't know who mentioned that earlier. If I tried negative edging my inputs, I have not. That's probably not a bad idea. Oh, I believe. I should have pressed a button there, but whatever. What happens if I press special midair? That might do something, I don't know. Because in my brain, special is just the throw button, but it's really... Is that an air throw? I can't tell what that is. Oh no, it just says nothing. That's just my normal jump spray. Negative edging. Yeah, I know negative edging helped in Street Fighter 1. But, uh, yeah, oh, I'll try it. I'll try it. Why not? Although with Street Fighter 1, I was, like, negative edging, um, like, with multiple buttons. So I'd, like, release. I was almost, like, negative edge pianoing, where I was releasing, like, one button and another and another quickly. I can't do that here, because I only have one button. There might not be negative edge in this game. I don't know. Buffer. Where is motion buffer, bro? If I had like two extra frames of, of buffer, bro, Geese Howard would be Geese dead. <sighs> we'll get him eventually, bro. And that, that day, that glorious day. Oh, Burn Knuckle? The power Wave? You've been here for an hour? Yeah, bro, I've been here for two. Wasting an hour of your life? Nah, you spent it with me, your best buddy. No, I should have known! I should have known! What do you need to? Yeah, hour 41. I've been here for an hour 41. It's not quite two hours. Bam. 100 minutes is an hour. Yeah. I'm close to two hours. Yeah, you're right. Oh, does he just backdash? Is that in this game? I guess he has it, I don't. Of course. <laughs> you are bad. I Yeah, I mean, I, I am. Uh, like, I'm not even gonna pretend to not be bad, bro. I have lost to Geese Howard like 30 times. That definitely says something. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, my mom just came in there. She said hi. <laughs> Chill's voice impression, please. Okay, um... I hate Geese Howard. No, that's not what he sounds like. What is he sound like? Number 15, Burger King? What that is. I hate Geese Howard. I think that he should... Go bald. I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> my, I don't think I have a good Chill's impression. Damn, bro. He's 
Geese Howard. If I saw that thing, if I saw Geese Howard in my living room, I would stomp him until he was just a tiny snake. Is that the lion? No, 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 no. Damn, bro, I got crossed up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give myself till the stream's been on for two hours. So we got about 20 or so more minutes. And then I say this for you, please. Okay, what do you want me to say? My muffin is off like a hamster. All right, that sounds like sounds like some, uh, some like, Roar XD, like, epic internet humor from, like, you know, 10 years ago. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so random. I want to pay this in. My, my muffin is looking awfully like a hamster. No burn knuckle. Of course, of course, the parry, of course, the parry. Obama impression? I cannot do an Obama impression. My, uh, my fellow Americans, I am. Ob I didn't even press a button there. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, my fellow, my fellow Americans. I uh, did not press a button there. I uh, just got parried for doing nothing. Unless maybe I like accidentally pressed a button. Maybe I fat fingered it. I don't know. Well, kills you in three specials. Yeah, I mean, I have the potential to kill in three specials as well, but I just can't execute. Can I crack shoot with a fireball? I guess I can't crack shoot at all. That's bad. Oh, I tried negative edge. I tried negative edge. I can't get it to work. Uh, that might just be a skill issue, but... I'm not certain this game is negative edge. I'll try it again, though. Why not? Yeah, I don't think it's At least I can't get it to work. Which might be two very different things. I think I should go back to my strategy. It literally is a skill issue. Like, literally is. That's the only. I'm like, oh, I, I'd be winning if I didn't, um, you know, keep dropping all my power waves. It's like, yeah, skill issue. Like, sucks to suck. You know? I'm just not good enough to beat Keith Howard. Power wave. No, it's a good voice clip. It also sounds like they recorded it in like a washroom. It's so echoey. After this, are you available? No, I gotta go eat dinner. I'm like starving. I don't know that. Ho, ho, ho. You guys see that? Do you guys see that? Burn knuckle, burn knuckle power wave. I'm a monster, dude. I am crazy. I think my mic clipped a little bit. Sorry. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, shit. All right, all right. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I'm in the zone. No, 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 I lost my backup. I'm gonna get fucked. This is fucking not my round. No! <sighs> fucking burn knuckle whiffed, bro. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay, okay, we figured out a strategy, though. Let's not go full screen. Let's not go full screen. He has like an invincible like Street Fighter 4 back dash. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Get fucked. 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 Ooh. Fuck. Oh my god. No, do not get back up. Okay, no, I just kill him. <laughs> I just kill him. Get fucked. April 1st, 19, 1923? What? Oh, you know what? The game might not they might not be able to comprehend the fact that it's 2023. The prologue of the newborn legend. Hell yeah, look at Terry, bro. Damn. Staff. Who's the lead fucking designer of this game? Big Boss, E. Kawasaki. E. Kawasaki, you are a dumb bitch. Um, why would you... Why would you make Geese Howard so hard? Isn't he alive out there? I think he's alive in the KOF universe. I think they're different things. 
Yeah, Terry Bogard in 1923. Terry Bogard, um... <laughs> Terry Bogard in about, you know, 15 or so years. 15 years? No, less than that. Terry Bogard in about, you know, 10 years? No, 20. I'm so dumb. So bad at math. Terry Bogard in 20 years will be drafted in the Second World War. Because uh, it's 1923 in this game, apparently. That's really weird. Anyway, we finally beat Geese Howard, and my stomach is telling me that I have to go downstairs and eat. So, all right. Give you a shout-out? Of course. I'd like to shout-out... I want to. I want to scroll up. I want to shout out everybody who cheered me on, bro. Shout out to Grease Beaker. Shout out to someone in your recommended. My heart is beating so fast. I'm like boom, 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 boom. So big shout out to Asian Kid, to Grease Beaker, someone in your recommended. And assuming that not important is still here, shout out to not important. If anybody else wants a, my son, <laughs> did you hear son? You're my son. Someone in my someone in your recommended. My son. Um, and anybody else who's here, even if you're lurking. I want to say I love you guys all. I love you more than I hate Geese Howard. <laughs> um, thank you guys all for tuning in. As per usual, I appreciate your support. All that stuff, you know. We got a little community here. At least gamer moment. Yeah, shout out Mishiza, bro. Gamer moment. Uh, I'm very cold. I'm very <laughs> hungry. Um, if I end the stream before I get a chance to shout you up, just imagine I did. Do your best impression of me saying shout out to and then say your name. That would be cool. Uh, <laughs> he's so excited. You're so excited about being my son. All right, everybody. With the SNK logo, I think it's time for me to call it quits. Um, oh, my name. Oh, I gotta do my name. Um, oh, I don't know all the time. There we go. My P. All right. Thank you guys all for showing up to the stream. I love you all. You're all appreciated. Uh, stay healthy. Stay safe. Good night.